Okay, so this is Victor Van, as you can see. Um, we're into the second day of the Steam sale, and uh, this is a game that's been on my wish list for a, a, a month or two. And uh, is the daily, or well, the deal of the day, daily deal, daily deal of the day, deal of the day. That's what we'll say. So uh, at the time I'm recording this video, the, the the day has 18 hours left to run. By the time I've got it uploaded, probably more like 17. But you have in the UK until 6 o'clock tomorrow to check it out. So it is early access. Uh, so no one's pretending the complete game is there yet. Um, it's an action RPG. It's uh, uh, isometric style. I'm not sure if it's actually an isometric projection. I get the feeling it might actually be a uh, real, real, real 3D. So the environments, uh, well, the environments aren't destructible, but a lot of stuff in the environment is destructible. Uh, you can jump, but uh, there are definitely uh, weird invisible walls to stop you uh, going anywhere. It's a sort of a steampunky Victorian age type uh, feel, I guess you would say. Um, playing with a controller. Uh, you can also play with a keyboard and mouse. Unlike other action RPGs, it's not a point where you want to go type thing. It's a um, it's a you know you you direct yourself around in in the way you would in a um, action game. say action game, you know, like a regular third person third person game. Right, so there's this codex thing which is your regular uh, regular you know, dictionary of, of stuff you're killing and uh, also has the story here we go uh, apparently there is going to be voice acting in the finish finished game at the minute you just read the text if you're interested in the story um, weapons and all of this before okay, pretty sword right fine so we'll get out of that for now uh, there is an inventory but let's wait until I actually pick some some gear up shall we so X is the attack I'll take the camera like that you can find money and then you can do uh, these special attacks uh, based on uh, at the bottom there you can see it's uh, wired up with my controller I can't get through there There's lots of things you can break. There we go. And I can athletically leap over barriers. Uh, we'll get to in a minute. We'll get to in a minute um, double jumping. Because clearly, you know, in case you hadn't noticed, this is the tutorial mission. Got a health potion, right? So here we go. Double jump. And hope. Oh. There we go. And you wouldn't believe I just played this for half an hour and still couldn't get that right. But anyway, let's carry on. Let's attack these pumpkins. Who knows what they might be doing? 
We'll jump down to the street. Right, now pressing R opens up the map. We can see there's some bad guys still to kill. So let's go and kill them. Now, as far as I can tell, the, uh, the the special actions depend on the weapon. What are we getting? Ooh, shotgun. So, I now have a shotgun. I think I must have missed a chest somewhere. Because the first time I played it, I got a uh, great big hammer, which was quite cool. Race Slayer shotgun. So, let's equip it, just so you know. Anything else? Not at the minute. Just so you see how it works. Uh, it's a sort of auto-targeting type uh, type deal. So there's a bad guy down here. Look, let's go and shoot him. Gotcha. Oh, there's another chest. Oh, that's a big hammer. That would explain it. So I'm going to equip the hammer. I liked the hammer last time. 48 to 61. Nice. Let's equip that. And uh, go to the... Uh, what's essentially the first boss fight? It's not much of one. go, jump around, get behind them, whack them on the butt, basically. Let's kill them eggs. Kill them eggs before they hatch. Oh, pick up the gold. I've not spent the gold on anything yet, but um, it's it's similar to uh, other action RPGs. There, I think there is. Uh, after you get through this this um, this dungeon, there we go. Let's use a healing potion, even though it's not really necessary. Alright, build up overdrive. So, you build up overdrive. This is the yellow bar at the bottom there. And so now I've got uh, on the left trigger a special action. Now what I've not figured out, oh there we go. Hold to aim. Boom! Demon tower power. Now me being me, I have found that uh, quite awkward to actually... Boom! did I just get? 60, see that's just not as good as my uh, it's not as good as my thing but I think we have to equip it we have to equip it to progress at this point and I'm not that interested in the shotgun I'm going to equip my hammer again and let's charge off. 
Let's have all this gold. So we've not done anything particularly challenging yet. Uh, this is the uh, hub area, I guess. Or is it? We have another boss fight first. There is a hub area. Once you actually get there, with the city gates, right? So you fight through, fight through the city to get to the castle, and the castle is like a hub. what jump over inside and because I did this earlier past the cannon oh no down here Ooh, what do we get loads of gold loads and loads of gold right oh, let's, let's smash all these in okay lots more spiders Good. There we go. Now he's chatting away through all of this, so I assume that will be what the voice acting is at the end. Um, and to the castle. So this is the hub area I was talking about. And then I presume, you know, there are missions to accept. There are places to go. Alright, how do I get in? Alright, it wasn't showing the A button. Like I said, it's early access. Now, now you can select an outfit, and the outfits have different, um, different bonuses and abilities. Uh, special outfit for buying early access. I'm going to stick with the hunter's outfit. I'm going to stick with normal mode. Now there's various people here, you can talk to them. There's a map you can look at. Uh, this bloke has a bit more dialogue with him. We have a bit of a conversation now. But what we need to do to progress is talk to the Queen, who uh, is very pleased to see us because she thinks we're here to help. We're a bit more practical. She is adamant she will defeat the demon hordes. I'm still practical. She says, "Ah, oh, well, you know, be gone with you then. So now, open the map. And right, so this is the first actual uh, challenge level, as far as I can tell. Uh, there's various various um, things to complete there. I'll, uh, I'll just go in and, and try and kill something, and we'll see how we get along. This is a somewhat um, open world type type deal. Well, yeah, there's no there's no particular order you have to do things in. Okay, 
keep an eye on that yellow bar at the bottom. Because if that yellow bar builds up, I can do a... Um, So I can do the demonic power thing there, which is one of the one of the uh, the uh, challenges. There you go. Use demon powers one of ten. Slay spider eggs four of twenty-five. So I see. I think to uh, slay them, you have to you have to get them before they hatch. So there you go. That's uh, Victor Vran. Oh, bit of lag. Strange. Uh, it's very, uh, very pretty looking action, action RPG in isometric style. Uh, in early access, uh, for the next three quarters of a day, it's forty percent off on Steam as a daily special deal. If you miss that, it's uh, probably worth checking out. Probably worth checking out at uh, the end of the, the sale. I think what usually happens is that everything that's been on a daily deal is available at the daily daily price for the last last 12 hours. Or Come here, you. Let's just kill all these spiders. Who doesn't want to kill spiders? Let's go and kill these ones. Can I do some demonic powers yet? I think so. Nearly. Yeah, some demonic powers. Yeah, sorry, Victor Ram, early access, forty percent off at present. Worth checking out, I think. It's a nice game. The uh, mechanics seem nice. The, the double jumping, the they actually be able to run around rather than have to point and click, which I actually find quite annoying in you know, something like Torchlight 2. And uh, yes, yeah, very pretty. Uh, some of the reviews, some of the native reviews, centre on it not being quite like other ARPGs, but all the positive reviews uh, go on about how nice the gameplay is. Uh, this is something clearly they've focus a lot of effort on to uh, as part of the early access build um, I'm still on my first hour of playing it here I think, well maybe just over now but uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, quite fun, I will be playing it some more, I'm going to have it on my wish list so that I uh, post it up in the Steam sale uh, check it out I recommend you, you uh, give it a good look <laughs>